Hello friends. One of these genes, these true religion genes, is fake. And after the video, after you watch the video, you will be able to tell the difference. So, to get straight to the point, I will talk about uh, the back pockets, buttons, patches, the font on the patches, and about the tags, and w about the inner pockets as well. And with this uh, information, you will be able to differentiate uh, between fake ones and real ones. And after that, I will also talk about uh, sizing, uh, about the different kinds of true religion genes, about uh, Billy's, Bobby's, and so on, and about the different types of stitching they have on them, uh, super T, big T, mega T, and what all of this means. Let's start. So, let's just pick one out. Um, this is a the rainbow Billy. It's called rainbow because it has these different colors here. It's different stitching on it on the back pocket and we have the flaps on here. There are two types uh, of back pockets. One without the flaps and one with the flaps. They're just a different kind and if they have the flaps then you will see that these uh, curves here they are very nice, they are very steep and the fake ones often have very straight uh, very straight uh, curves or almost no curve the second thing is that this roughly aligns here um, with the bottom of the back pocket this end and the fake ones are sometimes I don't know all over the place sometimes this uh, is longer than this side and that is all there is to say about back pockets. Then I will go on with the buttons. This is how they should look like. It says um, True Religion brand jeans on it. On, and they have the horseshoe or some say Buddha smile on it. So this is what they have on the back pockets. And then we go to the front. And we have it here in the front as well, and here as well. The other buttons look like this. They also have the horseshoe on it, and it says TRBJ, True Religion Brand Jeans. And it's weird, but the J is flipped upside down. But I guess that's, uh, I mean, that's not a fake, <laughs> but that's, I don't know, design-wise, a weird choice. Or maybe the right choice, I don't know. And, as you can see, it's here, stamped in, I would say. I have that here and here. So, and what, it all, what they also all have is a tiny button pocket which also has the horseshoe on it and also you can see that here obviously it doesn't have the flap here different color but same thing and but what is even more important than the outside of the buttons is the inside because what we can see here is the Buddha smile again. Look. In every jeans, every one, we have these inside, which are also stamped in. And fake ones often have don't have this because, of course, People who 
don't recognize it, they don't, that it's fake, they don't look inside. That's about the, that's all about the buttons. Oh, I could also say that some newer ones have this um, zipper, but other ones also have, um, do I have one here? Let's see. Yeah, look here. They have buttons here and of course all are stamped like this or molded in this way. So now as we covered uh, the buttons and the back pockets, let's go on to the tags. Obviously also a big thing. Um, and also what uh, the fake mm -hmm. fake ones really try to replicate. replicate. Um, the tags here it should all look very clean very nicely suit in here and they all should have three ones three tags this is the back one of the first one then the one in the middle they all have these stitching here and then this take where it says 100% cotton and where it's made. I'll show you more because I think that's also just very important to see multiple ones to see that they are all the same. Then you will more easily spot fake ones if you saw any real ones. Always the stitching here. And obviously, you know, I all uh, I bought them all used or second hand. And they're all a little different and they all have a little different color. But that's also from their production, uh different uh, kinds and different eras, times. Um um yeah, they put different a little different tags out. These were the tags. I mean, I could also show this, but this is in just very few ones. I have the American flag here. Let's talk about the patches on the back. Um, yeah, I mean, this is just really ha hard uh, to put in words, how to spot uh, or how to know if it's fake or not. Um, but in the end, it, uh, it comes down to the font and I mean you could say like badly made fakes they it's just off-center um, or they have the weirdest font uh, or also people always say oh it's very important that this goes nicely around and surely fake ones sometimes they just go they go over here with the stitching and yeah, but now you you know one of them, one of these is fake, and it's really hard to tell because maybe you think okay this one is smaller, so and all the other ones are bigger, but this one is also legit. Now this is uh, more yellowish, but it also can be because it's uh, second hand. So yeah, it's very hard. To tell but good thing is uh, to know is look if it just looks nice and clean uh, symmetrical and if it is well stitched on you see here obviously with the bigger stitching you know sometimes they have bigger stitching and smaller stitching then this gets here thicker and then some people say oh that's that's fake but that's not let's go on uh, to the last thing you have to know and this is what many people don't know but it is very important because there's some very very good fakes out there which don't uh, uh, which you can only like easily 
uh, separate from real ones, if you know this. And it is the inner pockets. You can see often they are very, you know, faded because if you buy them, obviously, but if you buy them um, second hand. But the real ones have it, the fake ones don't. The Buddha stamped stamps on the inner pockets. I hope you can see that on camera. And it is easier to see it here, obviously, because it's not so faded. But this is what they also sometimes fake. So that's why it's more um, important to look inside here. But also, often fake ones don't even have the Buddha stamped on the inside of the pockets or the outside of the inside pockets. Um, and one last thing is that you can see how well and nice everything is stitched. It's all very very clean. And on fake ones you see, I don't know, um, that, it's, that it's not so well made. I keep on saying that uh, this is the last thing I can uh, give you to spot fake ones, but I always, as I am making the video, noticing more things. So this is what um, people call salvage, and all true religion genes are salvage genes, and fake ones because it is, uh, yeah, it, it costs more to produce genes without this, or without this technique of weaving. They don't have this salvage here. And, yeah, they look on both sides on, like this, but true ones always have this. Or at least all of mine have these salvage here. So now I will talk about the different kinds of true religion genes or you could uh, say the different fits and there are now many different kinds but uh, you could say the true religion classics are the Billies, the Rickies and the Bobbies and now they are also Rocco's and which are skinny jeans or I have here a Nathan which is just a pretty straight one um, but yeah I just focus on I would say the best ones the most loved ones and I will start with Bobby this is a Bobby Bobby's don't have flaps and they are baggy fit you can think about this way Bobby baggy um, yeah, they're baggy. Rickies have the flaps and are straight cut. And Billies are boot cut. So they get more wide. They get wider um, at the bottom. Heavenly worn here, as you can see. Yeah, this is. these are the different kinds. And now, oh yeah, what I can also say... Uh, or we can, I can also tell you about our, the different stitching they put on there. So this is a regular bobby. So as you can see, it's just normal stitching, like any other regular jeans. But this is R R Ricky, giant big T, so not, not normal Rickies. And they have this thick, thick stitching. And these are... Yeah, billies, but they are not just normal billies, but they are rainbow billies, so they have this special stitching here on the back pockets. So, if you only see Bobby on the uh, on the patch, then 
yeah, it will have normal stitching. If you see Bobby Big T, it has thicker stitching, and it if you have Super T or Giant T or whatever, then you will see stitching is thicker. So for the end of the video, I will now tell you which one is the fake True Religion jeans and you will be able to tell yourself. Um, it is a very, very well made fake, so, and that's the only reason I bought it, uh, because I didn't notice it myself from the pictures. Uh, I bought it off of eBay. And, but yeah, the fake one is this one. <laughs> and I will now go through all the details. Um, where you can see that it's fake but it's so well made I was really amazed how well the fake was so I start here with the buttons and you can see and I I would say they I mean they're the same quality and I only know that this is real because the the stamping or molding or whatever how they made it um, is smoother and they are smooth on all of my other jeans and this is, the edges are sharper. You can see also, if you look here, to the front, see how this is? It's just, it's just sharper, the edges. And then, what's even more amazing is that they even have, on the inside, I mean, now the size difference is not what, I mean, this can just be, but, here, this is the fake one, I uh, know this is the real one, and this is the fake one. And you can see here the fake one, they even put the horseshoe on it, but it's like this. the stamping is not so clean. This is very clean, as you can see here. And then we, I can go on to the, which is even more uh, uh, bigger giveaway here. You can see the Buddhas here inside, and here nothing. It's just a regular um, pocket. I mean, this is the first thing that I that I noticed because I looked here on it and I thought, oh, this is real, but it's not. Okay, and then we got these two things, and but you know, they even put, have these here. It's it's really crazy. But then when you look here at the the tag, they even have all the tags. But you can see here on the second tag, the stitching is like a little too low. It's too low. And here, it is not perfectly sued. So, I mean, it has everything, but it's just not perfect. And then when you look inside, I told you that... Um, the stitching is perfect in the real true religions and look at this like there this comes out everywhere not okay this is just wear but they you just leave this here also on the back back side here um where is it like they just this comes just out of there and for everyone who knows about salvage jeans. Look, also the quality here is poor, but it has no salvage. And the real one, <coughs> has it here. And I'm really amazed how, how well they, they made this fake. It's really crazy. Also you can see here, like, cheap. Cheap production, or I mean, it's not cheap, but it's cheaper. That what it, that was it then. Um, obviously, my English is not perfect. Uh, English is not my first language, but I hope it helped you and it uh, will help you to buy only real true religion jeans because I have seen so many fake ones on eBay or wherever and people just sell them for the same prices 
and then in the end they have a product which has uh, worse quality. So I hope I helped you. Bye bye.